from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Showers and storms are trying to move on in from out of uh, southwest Texas and starting to move on up into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That's the precursor of the system that is going to be coming on into our area late tonight. We do have a chance by morning of a few isolated thunderstorms that could have some hail with it. Stephen, Allen, our storm trackers will be covering all of that for you to make sure you can get to work. But unfortunately, rush hour could be a little bit of a trouble spot. And then as we go through the afternoon hours, we have another chance, a few isolated thunderstorms that could be heavy, especially in southeast Oklahoma. And then on up to the northwest, you see this little bit of a yellow color. That's associated with a little bit better chance, a few severe storms just out of our area. But we do have for eastern Oklahoma for our Thursday, not much happening except for a low risk of some hail across the area. And and so that's about it. Uh, maybe some gusty winds with an isolated storm. Our biggest threat would be coming on Friday afternoon, primarily in the areas of southeastern Oklahoma. That's where the higher chances of uh, some big time hail. And also, we cannot rule out a possibility of an isolated tornado. So that's something that will be possible. And you tell the seasons are changing just a little bit. So we'll be talking about that more and more with time. Meantime, if you want to sneeze, you can, because we still have a lot of tree pollen. Most of that's a red cedar. And uh, we're looking at some mold because we've got a little bit more warm and humid. And because of that, that also helps mold many times. And so we're at 59 degrees right now, which is not too bad. Our metro temperatures are in the 50s to around 60. 63 in Kuwait is basically the warmest temperature. 54 in Pryor, 57 up at Sky Took. Winds are generally light out of an east-southeast direction. By morning, rush hour, showers, and some thunderstorms will be around. And a few of those cores could have a little bit of hail in them. We'll be in the 50s for the early morning hours and then that kind of takes a little bit of a break by the time we get past 9 o'clock to about noon. There could be a few scattered showers but nothing super heavy. Temperatures will be in the mid 60s by noon. Then the afternoon still a slight chance of isolated showers mainly south and east but our metro temperatures will be in the upper 60s maybe on the west side with a few sun breaks we could break up to around 70 degrees and it'll be nice for 6 o'clock as the sun is setting and then on into 9 o'clock but then there's another system coming in late for tomorrow night into early Friday morning to give us chance storm. So our higher potential for rain will be about 5 o'clock and that will continue through rush hour and then drop off fairly dramatically by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So not much happening late tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night in the metro. Now as far as what's happening across our area, explosion of storms about 4 to 6 o'clock in the morning. A few of these cores will have some small hail in them. A few could have hail that's a little bit larger than that. It could not be up to quarter size, especially if you're in southeastern parts of our area. And then as you go through the mid-morning hours and into the afternoon, better chance of some remaining rain kind of on a small conveyor belt for you guys southeast. Isolated showers and storms ending in the north uh, during the afternoon. Then some cells try to reform up to the north and to the west of us as we have a cold front coming in. It'll be quiet for most of tomorrow night. But those cells are expected to kind of die down as they get toward the Tulsa area because the atmosphere isn't quite as conducive for that. But we'll have temperatures on Friday morning in the 50s. Here's that cold front. This will be a concern because that is going to run into some unstable air. So the chance of showers and thunderstorms are going to try to form along that front and higher potential a few strong and severe thunderstorms southeast Oklahoma where you guys be in the 60s to low 70s. And to the northwest, we'll be cooling into the 50s about the time that ends. And on Saturday, look for 50s chilly. There is a chance of a frost on Sunday morning. Some new data says we'll get a southwest wind coming in just in time to keep us from freezing. But again, be aware just in case you were brave enough to put some plants out there. And by Sunday afternoon, we'll be back out there putting plants back out because it'll start to get really nice. Odds of rain are the highest Thursday and Friday, but we're starting to see an increase Tuesday on into next week with another storm system will be coming in. So don't be surprised on that. And we'll continue to be relatively mild minus the weekend, but we do have a couple of cold shots it still could produce some freezing or near freezing temperatures right on through the end of March. All right, showers, storms likely 6, 7 to 8 o'clock in the morning. Allow yourself a little extra time and don't forget Allen and Stephen in the morning. And then by noontime, still a few areas of lingering showers. The afternoon should quiet down. And then by the time we extend the forecast out, we're looking for chilly weather on Saturday because there'll be some gusty winds. Spring forward. Don't forget we lose one hour of sleep. And uh, don't forget about the temperatures still in the springtime scenario for next week. But we do go back to storms. And some of those storms next week look like...